Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add a Gaussian blur effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So to start with, I've created a new Premiere Pro project. And for this tutorial, I'm using the default editing workspace. So from the project panel in the bottom left corner, we can double click to import our video footage and it will be listed here and we can simply drag this onto the timeline and it will create a sequence with the correct settings. Next, we're going to apply the blur effect to our footage. Now our footage is a lovely sunset with some flowers and foliage and stuff. And we're going to start by having the footage blurred and then it will gradually become less blurred as the footage plays. So we have some lovely footage of a sunset with some flowers and foliage and stuff. So let's bring this back to the beginning and go to the effects panel and we're going to navigate to the blur effect. So let's expand video effects, blur and sharpen and then you'll see a number of different blur effects. We're going to be using Gaussian blur. Just left click and drag this onto the footage and you'll see in the effect controls panel as we have this footage selected we get a variety of different options. Let's collapse all of these for now, except Gaussian Blur, which is the one we want. For some reason it's applied twice, but that's not an issue. We just select one version of Gaussian Blur, just right click and select Clear, and it will remove that effect. So what we're going to do now is next to Blurriness, we're just going to select the stopwatch to mark that we want to create a keyframe. And you'll see it's created a keyframe here. And then we just set the blur amount. So let's bring this up to, let's say 120. Now you can left click and drag with the mouse to adjust the blur, or you can click type a value and press enter. So we've set the blur as the footage starts playing at 120. Let's drag this all the way to the end. And we'll set this to zero. And you'll see it creates another keyframe at the end. So if we just scrub through our footage now, it starts off blurry, and as the footage plays, it gradually becomes less blurry. To the point where at the end of the footage, the blur effect is removed altogether. Now what we can do is we can select this keyframe, and we can drag this over to the left, so what this will mean is that the blur effect won't span the entire length of the video footage, but it will happen a lot quicker. So we see the blur here, gradually going, and then we still get plenty of footage playing with the image in focus, rather than having most of the image blurred and then focusing right at the end. So you can also adjust the blur dimensions, so you can change it from horizontal and vertical to just horizontal or just vertical, but for this tutorial we're going to keep it at horizontal and vertical, just a standard Gaussian blur. So there we go, we could see our blur in action from start to finish. And something else you might notice is around the edge where we've used the Gaussian blur effect, we have this almost kind of like an, a black inner shadow around the edge and we want to try and get rid of that, but we're going to try and get rid of it in a cheeky way. So if we select the first keyframe here up in the effect controls panel and just expand the motion options here. So let's collapse Gaussian blur. And what we're going to do is at the beginning of the footage, just set the scale to 105% and press enter. So scaling up very slightly removes that black shadow from the inner edge. And then if we drag this over to the point where our second keyframe happens, and we'll set this to 100. And I've actually missed a step out. I've actually missed a step out because if I go back, I didn't click on the stopwatch. So it's very important that you click on the stopwatch because that indicates to Premiere Pro that you are trying to start an effect and add a keyframe. So let's try that again. Let's click, we'll type 105 at the beginning of our footage. We'll scrub along in the effect controls panel. 
along to the point where our blur is gone altogether, then we'll type 100. And when we press enter, it will add that second keyframe. So it's very important to remember clicking the little stopwatch when you want to create a keyframe. So if we scrub back to the beginning and play our footage, now there's only a 5% difference in size, so it's very subtle. So hopefully with the blur effect and the motion happening at the same time, it will be almost impossible to notice the scale of the image changing, but it does remove that effect, that shadow from around the edge. So let's have a look. Looks good to me. And there we go, that's how to create a Gaussian blur effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.